So today I'm going to try something a little bit different on my channel. I'm looking at Android emulation. I'm going to start this off with PPSSPP, which is the best PSP emulator out there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it and how to get you up and running and go through some video settings as I normally do on my channel. So check this video out. <laughs> So first things first, as I always say before I start off my setup guys, I'm going to say hit notifications if you like today's video and subscribe so you don't miss up incoming content. So as I was saying in the intro, we're going to set up PPSS PP today for Android. I'm using a Samsung phone for this. So what we're going to do is go to Google Play Store and just go to install this. Now, PPSS PP is an absolutely free application. It does have a premium upgrade option, which is entirely optional. It's going to give you a few extra features, which the free doesn't give you. But generally, the free option for PPSS PP on Android plays really well. So we're going to just wait for this to install and we're going to get you up and running. So once that's downloaded and installed, we're just going to press play and that's going to bring us into the setup menu. So what we're going to do first is just create or choose a PSP folder. This is going to store all our data and our saves on it. So I'm going to leave this as default to create or choose a PSP folder and I'm going to go to OK. And I've already created a folder titled PlayStation. So I'm going to just select that. And if you don't have a folder selected, then create a folder and choose whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to go to use this folder and allow PPSSPP to access files in my PlayStation folder. I'm now going to press allow. And from here, I'm going to press OK. Now, this is going to be your first screen you see. And my folder is going to be on my home screen. And as we can see, we can see Ridge Racer now. So to play my game, all I'm going to do is literally just touch the icon and there we go. So I'm going to do a bit of gameplay on this and afterwards I'm going to show you how to enhance your settings. Ridge Racer. Beginning Ridge Racer. So to exit out of that, I just press back, as you can see, on my phone. And from here, I'm going to go to settings. And from settings, we can adjust how this game looks. So first of all, I'm going to look at rendering resolution. We can bump this up to 4K. So if you've got an Android device which is strong enough to handle uh, gameplay like P PSP games at 4K, then test this out. I find normally around 1080p works fine for my phone. Next useful option is going to be display layout and effects. And from here, we can change the aspect ratio of this. So if we just use this slider, 
we can now manipulate the aspect ratio rather than just putting numbers in we can literally slide this into place where we think it looks good for our phones or whichever android device you're using so i'm going to leave this and just reset it back to how it was and if we just go ahead and hit integer scale factor that's going to give us almost a full screen and on this option we've also got post processing shaders so we could try out something like CRT scan lines, hit that one, press back and back. And let's go back into the gameplay for this. So as we can see, we've now got the shader supplied, which is the scale. And if we go back to settings again, so if we just scroll down from here again, we can go to upscale type and we got a range of different upscaling options. So it's worth experimenting with these upscale types. Let's just check out hybrid plus by cubic and that's going to give us a slight different look. And while some around this area, it's also worth your while in your device can handle it, anastrophic filtering. So the further we go up on anastrophic filtering, the more it's going to take out of our devices. So for example, if I go up to 16 times, it's more likely going to make the game laggy for me, where it's if I put it back down to around four times to two times, it's going to look great and it's going to run really well as well. So let's check this out again with these settings now enabled. So back. And if we go back into settings again, and this time I'm going to go to controls. Now, just let me remind you that this actually allows Bluetooth controller. So if you've got a wireless controller, a Bluetooth controller, such as, I don't know, a PlayStation 5 or a Sirius Xbox controller, you can easily pair this. So what you're going to do once you paired it, we've got those controls on the screen, as you can see, which are a little bit strange to use. So to get rid of these, all you need to do once you've got your controller paired with this is just go to on-screen touch controls, go back. And as you can see, they're now disappeared so you can continue playing that with your controller connected. So that's about it for my basic setup guide for PPSSPP on Android devices. Like I said at the start, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them, just like it and also hit notifications and be sure to check out my other emulation related content. But until next time, stay retro.